Welcome back to Vroom Vroom Dana. Back again on the WR4 Sexy. I feel like getting in some shit today. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. A little nipply, if you were to ask me. I mean, it, it could be about five degrees warmer, uh, but whenever I get into some shit and whenever I get into something I wish I wouldn't have gotten into, I always wish it was a little cooler out. So maybe that'll come into play today. But seriously, man, thanks again, you guys, for all tuning in to yet another Moto Vlog. You guys are still killing it, as always. We are now over 210,000 subscribers, which is fucking awesome. I couldn't even ever, ever imagine that. So hopefully we keep growing on that front. And uh, yeah, man, maybe 220 by the end of the week. I, I don't even know what to expect out of you guys anymore because you guys keep killing the fucking game. So we'll see. Should I say killing the freaking game? A lot of people get a little anal at me when I uh, curse in my moto vlog. So uh, it's still gonna happen, but I'll try to tune it down a little bit, maybe. I don't know, I say that now until I'm stuck upside down on a hill under my bike. Things might get a little vulgar at that point. All right, so before we go where I shouldn't go, before we take the beast on a little dirt adventure, I wanted to show you guys uh, something that a lot of you guys have been asking for, and a lot of you have been like, what the hell, Dana? Where are my keychains at? And guess what? Bada boom, bada bing. We got the Vroom Vroom Dana Pussy Squad keychains finally back in stock, and guess what? They are Yamaha blue, baby. You guys have been asking for blue keychains since Vietnam, and we finally got them. We had red before. Those were first gen. All my OG peeps who have the red ones, hats off to you. We've had the black keychains, and now we got the blue and white keychains. So once the blue and white ones are gone, we're going to move on to a different color. I think that's, like, how I'm doing things now. It kind of allows me to, like, kind of see when you started watching my videos. I don't know. It's like a weird little thing I have. Maybe it's a weird little fetish. Uh, but the blue ones are finally up. So if you have a Yamaha and you want that, if you have a Kawasaki, you can never go wrong with green and blue. Red and blue if you're on a Honda. Fucking America. So yeah, man. The blue ones are in stock. Link is in the top of the bio. Uh, it's the one that says, get your merch here. Keychains are for sale. So once those are gone, the blue and white is going to be gone. I'm, I'm not going to say forever because who knows what happens in the future. I'm not a freaking guy who can predict the future i'm not jesus i don't read your palms but right now the blue and white keychains are for sale hello oh, and welcome to another treasure adventure here it looks like we gotta use use condom stuck under a leaf some boy lost his virginity in this spot about five days ago as you can see from the circle wet spots he exploded a massive load onto the asphalt this was not a one-time thing he did it once he did it twice but he left behind the one condom i will take it back to my friends at the fbi run some diagnostics on it and find out who fucked in this spot shout out to everyone that actually eats ass you're the real mvp so in celebration of the new key tags and being out, in celebration of all the greatness that is happening with all of us right now with the channel, with the Pussy Squad, uh, here are the winners of the stickers from a couple videos ago. In this video, I'm going to be giving away one of those brand new keychains. Uh, so just comment down below anything you would like. Comment keychain, comment dingleberry, comment tree hugger. I don't care what you comment. I'm going to go through the comments and pick them. Uh, and we'll give away a keychain to one of you, one lucky winner. And uh, yeah, man, we'll, we'll go from there. Oh man, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good right now. It feels like I kind of did a line of coke before I went out and filmed this video. Um, I don't know why I'm so hyped and the good thing there's a way around this shit still. I don't want to go through there and uh, make all the bitches wet. All right, I know this trail has been in like the last two videos I did, but like I said, it's a, oh shit. It's a little chilly out, so I need to do a little bit of a technical riding real quick, just to, just to warm the body up, you know? Nothing too extreme, but something that'll uh, get me in the zone. <laughs> ah, shit. Take two, let's go. It is actually like flowing water through here right now. Maybe we should have brought the uh, fishing poles, you know. Maybe catch some anacondas back here. 
but uh yeah it's flowing and i keep getting water on my ankles so it's a little nipply all right got the adrenaline going I'm already starting to breathe a little hard that's what i needed because that shit warmed me right up i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty uh pretty good right about now shit damn dude i went through that mud hole on the way over here fucking jeans whoosh mud all over them all over my shoes but we did it for the view tivities the, the the water doesn't look great right now i mean all this dirt that has been rushing off these hills lately has made the water a little brown like there's a massive sewer leakage but i promise you there's not a massive sewer leakage it just uh it's just a little brown at the moment <sighs> maybe just maybe my pee will make it a little cleaner yeah i just wanted to uh see how the water's doing over here it hasn't been this high in a very very long time so had to investigate the situation you know maybe bring a couple buddies put up some tents right here throw out a fishing rod set up camp right here and just spend the night now that that would be pretty badass not really 100 percent sure if this is really a trail anymore but We'll find out, you know, it's just a little overgrown. It's a little steep, especially with my tire that every video I say I'm gonna replace it, I don't replace it. It's actually, wait, never mind. I was gonna say it's not that bad, but it gets a little hairy towards the top, but yeah, never mind. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Oh, damn. You guys know what this calls for, right? I don't know why. I find crosses all over the hills. Maybe people just come up here and put these up and I can't put the goddamn kickstand down right here. But it's definitely time for an insta pick. I want your inspirational quote for the day. It's not about the presence. It's about the presence. You know, like not like a gift, but you being there. Jesus is the reason for the season. Dang, people are spitting bars up here. That's cause Jesus Christ is my nigga little hairier on the way down than the way up ah shit there's a cop look at the copperoo over there we'll look from right here i'll zoom in on the camera i was gonna do some hill action for you look at that look at that guy over there damn dude shit i don't feel like getting a ticket today obviously so think i'm just gonna turn around We'll save uh we'll save those trails for a, another vlog because obviously I'm not really supposed to be riding back here and I'm not gonna go dick around next to a cop. <laughs> just kind of a fucked up thing to do. So I'll just go back and uh we'll go somewhere else. Give the beautiful thing about having a dual sport, you know. <laughs> if option A isn't ideal or option A presents a situation, you could just go with option B or C or D, or even E. At least I uh, checked my gas in this video. You know, it won't be like uh, last video. <laughs> Which if you guys haven't checked that out, uh, definitely recommend it. It's uh, it's interesting, I missed my trail. It's, uh, it's definitely an interesting time. You know, I went out on the dual sport. I ran out of gas. I ate shit. I tore open my shin. It was a, uh, it was a clusterfuck. I ain't going through that shit. So hopefully over here, is a little better. Fuck, it's still pretty muddy, but better than going through that slosh. Great. When the sun is just right in your eye holes, can't even see the trail in front of you. You kind of just got to hold on, stand up, and uh, pray that you don't eat shit like I almost did right there. Ah, always fun. It literally like put me in a blindfold and it'd be the same effect as that sun just beaming at you. <laughs> It's gnarly for anybody that doesn't ride. When that sun hits you in the face like that when you're going down something, it's almost impossible to see. I haven't been on this trail in a while. Look how green it is, it's super overgrown. Not the trail itself, but everything around it actually got a little overgrown down there, but everything is just so damn green right now. It's, it's crazy. All right, maybe we should uh, stick to the road for a minute. <laughs> Gotta stay away from the sketchy areas, you know, just 
just let it just let it cool down for a, a brief moment. The neighborhood hill watch was uh, being watched by somebody higher than the neighborhood hill watch, <laughs> or were the police on my turf? I, I I don't know, man. I'll let you guys decide. I feel like uh, they were kind of in my area. A little uh, hood ratty for a minute. Damn, this must have been filled with dirt. Look at the dirt they plowed up. Ugh. Oh man, that's a little, <laughs> a little slippery right now. Ooh. Had like all those flash floods out here in Cali. This shit was, ooh, ooh, there's a little muddy in here. You can see little tracks too from foxes or some shit. Dang, look at how soft everything is. This must have just been, oh shit. We're digging, we're digging. This must have been so flooded. I wonder if we can make it up like one side of this thing and go down the other, because I know it's going to be retardedly soft. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Houston, we got a problem. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, man. That could have went bad. Like lost in the freaking wilderness of Lake Elsinore, which is never safe, and ah, oh, little, little enduro section, never, ah, oh, hurt nobody. <laughs> oh shit, that's a, that's a homeless camp, that's a little, little sketchy right there. <laughs> all right, we'll move on. Beautiful place to ride and all, there's a lot of cool trails, but I mean, it's not the worst place, uh, hands down. It's definitely not the best place, hands down. I feel like it just kind of sits in the middle. You just got some crackheads, you know, the local heroin people or whatever whatever heroin people are called besides the term drug addicts, but eh, it's pretty good. You guys out on the road, everybody who says what's up, everybody who sees me out, I appreciate it, man. I do. I really do appreciate all the love you guys show me. Oh, what do we got up here? Are we activating Neighborhood Hill Watch? This car's probably dumping some shit because everybody likes to dump over here. We'll investigate. What are you doing over here, man? Really? You're not dumping or anything, right? I mean, why are you at? I don't know, because I don't want people to dump shit where I ride. Why does it even matter? Uh, why does it matter? What? Ride right here? Yeah, ride right here. What does it matter? What does it matter if I ride right here? What the, what the hell are you doing here? Are you recording me? No, I'm not recording. Yeah, the red light. I'm not recording, fool. Red light. What the fuck's your problem, dude? What the fuck, dude? Get out of here. I'm just out here riding and you're fucking sitting here and get pissed off and put the, what the fuck is that? Dude, put that shit down. Put that shit down. Put that shit down. Put that shit, put that shit down, dude. What? How much money you got? I don't got shit, dude. How much money you got? Like 50 bucks, maybe. What the fuck's up with a gun? What do you mean pull it out? Put the fucking gun now. I'm, I'm not harassing you, you got a fucking gun. You're harassing me, nigga. Fuck, dude, all right, all right, all right. Put that shit down. Put that shit down. Put the money out. Fuck, dude. Look, that's all I got. Look, that's all I got. Yeah. What do you mean get home? You just end it like that? You take my money and that's it? Anything else? What the fuck, dude? What do you mean get the fuck out of here? Wait till I call the cops on your bitch ass, fucker. What the fuck was that about? Fuck that. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Like... Oh my god, dude, like, my hands are trembling right now, that was, what the fuck just happened, like, I don't even know what was going through my head, I don't even, uh, I don't even, I don't even know what happened, that, that was, that went 0 to 100, so fucking fast, that could have ended, that could have ended so, so bad. Man, what the? What the hell was that all about? I was just dicking around, man, trying to be funny. And no, man, takes it totally out of context. Oh my God, dude. That was, 
That was fucking insane. What we need right now is a couple tabletops or some shit. <laughs> Clear my head. I can't even can't even jump right now, man. I can't even can't even focus on anything. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna wrap that up right there and we're gonna call that a moto vlog, man. That is room room Dana. We are the pussy squad. I think I'm gonna go home and uh give this little give this little bee a wash because after that ride I mean I'm all my like knee down soaking wet my shoes are muddy my bike is plastered with mud like swing arm down and then up under the fender so I'm gonna go home give her a nice little wash she definitely deserves it I don't even know what to say about that video but if you guys enjoyed uh, please be sure to leave a thumbs up neighborhood hill watch got a little cray cray today and if you're new be sure to subscribe and uh yeah man just let me know what you guys think about that whole situation uh down below so like i said room room dana the pussy squad and i'll talk to you guys on my next video deuces